Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Death Stranding. And uh, first off, I want to thank you guys for supporting and viewing all these videos as we move past the 30 video mark. Like I've said before, no idea when this is going to end. I'm just sort of trying to push on uh, as hard as I can. And uh, sort of without further ado, we're going to hop into it though. Uh, I do want to say though, last time there was a little bit of a cutscene I triggered after I finished recording, which I can't exactly get back right now. Um, so sort of summary, I guess, uh, first thing first, it's a BB cutscene where we saw Unger protecting the BB and then getting shot. Uh, and then the second one was um, Deadman, who was doing some research about BBs. It's, it's been a, quite a bit of a mystery before, and uh, basically Deadman sort of revealed that the BBs was a project that started around the Death Stranding and was originally made by separatists rather than the UCA. So that's, it get, things get a little bit more interesting, you know, we're getting more history about the tech here. But uh, I sort of don't want to waste your time with me explaining all this. So without further ado, let's hop right into it and let's continue pushing onward with another delivery. Alright guys, so we're back here in the distribution center, I think at the mountain. I just teleported over here from... Uh, the distribution center uh, west of Capital Knot. So that was, I was sort of visiting back to the earlier areas that we played through before arriving here, obviously. But uh, north of Mountain Knot City. All right, I got 40 likes. Mm. A little bit less than before, but I guess it's because a lot of people aren't playing really up at this point. You know, it's more late game. So let's get going. Let's head out. Uh, I gotta see what orders we got as well. All right. Here we go. I think we've got another flashback now. Yeah, let's plug that in. Sorry about the mess. Ooh, got well, this is new. interesting you know every single time we've had a flashback from, from BB it's always been very interesting to see it Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. right path lays down we're gonna get some orders all weapons will remain locked until departure all clear welcome Sam Porter bridges that's good right nice bunch of drop cargo stuff was delivered that's pretty the people good. People of Mountain Knot City have a pressing problem that needs to be addressed. A tar like substance has been bubbling up from beneath the ground near them. They're seeing more of it by the minute, and it won't be long before it spreads into the city. There have already been reports of ejecta inside the outer walls. If nothing is done, the whole city might be swallowed by a sea of tar in the near future. There's an order from Mountain Knot City. Check the details on the delivery terminal. I know about you guys, but that sounds a little bit iffy. <laughs> As in, you know, there's a lot of tar, you know. I don't think that's gonna be F that's gonna be good at all. Okay, so good thing is we're not we don't need to go back through that territory again. The bad thing is I don't know if I can only build so many uh, zip lines before we reach the edge of the chiral network. Handle with care and avoid impact. I think we can do that. So let's get this done. Right, so same strategy as the video before. We're gonna get a nice little bunch of PCCs to help us do some stuff. Oh, okay, they don't have enough cryo crystals. So what we gotta do? What we gotta do? Vehicles. I might just go for a long range strike. Maybe I'll make my own actually. Wait, uh, actually, yeah, I think we can. Be advised, Sam. 
The case for that antimatter bomb was not designed for long distance transport. The magnetic Ooh. traps that keep the antimatter sequestered are delicate. A powerful impact, reckless driving, an unbalanced carrier. There are all kinds of ways the traps could fail. Any abnormalities detected within the case should trigger an alarm. If it goes off, you're doing it wrong. And if the bomb goes off, we'll have a disaster on our hands. The kind we can't come back from. Oh, this is bad. I have a, I have a literal bomb. I think this is even worse than the nuclear bombs, guys. Like, help me out here. <laughs> this is way worse than the nuke we got from uh, from from Higgs. This is like way, 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 way worse. But um, I guess it's good we didn't get any vehicles then. Order assigned. Hmm. All right, so I just want to check sort of the map here. This is where we're going. We got someone's zip lines already here. I want to just set one up sort of in between. I think that would be a good thing to do because it's the mountain knot. I'm going to assume we're, we're sort of have to go up this spot over here. I just hope there's no mule camps in between because obviously that's going to be sucky. Uh, which reminds me, I need to check my private locker. I feel like I feel like there was a gun I left there behind because uh, obviously it went to another place. Your private locker can be used to store cargo and the like. Yep, got that. I just need to get my uh, gun, I think. And also I think a blood bag would be good. That's definitely good. Uh, carry on back. We'll just optimize it once we get everything on our back. Yep, so we got our four PCCs ready to run, I think. Where's my other PCC? Didn't have another PCC in my private locker. What? Okay. Uh, so we got three. Then we got our assault rifle. I'm just gonna put my ladder uh, to my suit uh, on the empty spot. Should bounce out some things. It, it's still a little bit heavy. Obviously, we're it's 150 kilograms. That's our max. I already took up about 110 of it, so we're gonna try our best to not do anything wrong. Oh, that's some pleasant sunlight. I hope there's no terrorists outside of it. That's gonna suck. <laughs> that's definitely gonna suck, though. All right, so we're gonna head out towards the right, I think. So let me just check the map. All right, so we head forward actually. So it's I think more towards the right. There's some land that we can walk through. Why did somebody put a ladder up on top of here? What's the point? <laughs> I don't know. So I, I, I guess we could have taken a bike, right? But I think I think I speak for everyone when I say that it is incredibly risky to take a bike. Uh, in, in these circumstances, I would say a bike. The moment I crash, I, this is going to trigger. I, I feel like that's definitely what's going to happen. The moment I do so... The bomb's gonna trigger and, you know, kingdom come. Okay, so I think we're gonna set up a couple of uh, zip lines. Because, you know, that's, that's sort of what I brought my stuff here for. Just gotta be careful I'm not close to the uh, road here. Shit, I'm so too close to the road, aren't I? <laughs> okay, then, I, I think we might need to go up further. You know, if, if any of you guys ever do build this road, obviously. This, the zip line is more for after the road's been built, you know? Okay, that was for any vehicles. I still haven't bothered trying to set up any signs before because obviously that's a little bit of a hassle and I think it's not too much actual practical use. Like the zip line you can use to get back and forth, but like for this, it's hard, it's hard to go back and forth with this kind of stuff, you know? So that's still this a road building area. So I think we can sort of set up some stuff here on the green grass, maybe. Like walk a little distance for it, you know? Yeah, let's go. It's plain land too, so it should help. Oh, why am I walking forward? Keep. I'm just trying to keep both my fingers on the trigger currently to make sure the bomb doesn't go off and, you know, obviously keep myself steady. Still not done yet. I just don't know when the... Um, I just hope there's no mule territory. There's no actual way for me to check, I think. I don't have a watch tower on me, so I won't be able to see any... Um, Camps, obviously. I'm just gonna set the zip line though. It's gonna make things a lot more easier in the long run. I just certainly need to estimate the distance here because obviously I'm on foot, which means distance will go slower. But I think you guys might have realized by now I sort of suck at this sort of distance guessing thing. What? I'm already on the edge of it? 
Wait, hold up. Hmm, wait. No, I don't want to be this right. Hold up, I need to move this way. Yeah! I don't want to get too far off the chiral, chiral uh, network, obviously. Ah, uh, wait. I, I'm trying to get to the very edge of it. So, like, my zip line's over there, so I obviously want to pin one that comes right down to the border. Because I think we're going sort of straight line up the mountain, probably that ridge over there. So I guess I'm glad I brought a ladder. Uh, let me find where that, where that uh, chiral network disconnects. Where's that line? Ah, here we go. I'm just gonna move along that line and hope we don't stray into mule territory. Well, not mules at this point. Probably just terrorists would be the better word. All right, let's pick out another PCC. Oh, wrong one. That's my ladder. Hup. Uh, I think. Yeah, there's only 120. So we're gonna move a little bit more towards this way. I think we can put one down near the generator. Might make sense. Uh, so the terrorist camp is over by that bridge over there, as you guys can see in the center of my screen right now. Um, so I guess that's not what we're trying to do. But I'm worried they have some people in the forest, obviously. Uh, those aren't people, right? Those are little orange lights. Please tell me there aren't people. Let me put a scan. At least it pops up the orange stuff if you're close to it, you know? Okay, I think we're a decent distance. 200! Wait, I can still build up more. <laughs> right, I'm just let's build a little bit more towards this side. More towards the generator, you know? So any of you guys who are walking through here can have the benefit of dropping off at the generator. I think that makes sense though, if we drop it off at the generator. Because then you can stop there, get a little boost, continue going, etc, etc. I'm just trying to keep my distance ready though. Oh, checking. We're close to the limit, which is 300. So I think once we cross the river, I think, yeah, once we cross the river. Ooh, shit, it's a bit of a red patch. Okay. Gotta be careful about my bomb, obviously. I hope this doesn't trigger the uh, bomb. If it does, we're gonna have to start all over again. Shit, the bomb! Nope, nope, nope. Gotta be careful about the bomb. Okay, the bombs, the bomb's okay. Bomb's okay. I was worried there. The bomb is okay. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, right? I did all that for none. Okay. Let me... Let me drop on my bomb here real quick. I think that will, that will be a little bit smart. We're gonna offload this temporarily. We're gonna set up that zip line. It should make things a bit easier. Okay. Um, this is by the generator, so maybe what I'll do is i see if I can set up a ladder. A ladder bridge, you know. A ladder bridge is always good. Oh, this ain't this ain't long enough at all. Just sinks down to the bottom. Okay then. Okay. Gonna cross back the river. Okay. Paddle right. Paddle right. Yeah. We're good. Look at that lifesaver. <laughs> okay, I guess uh, let's not care as much about the generator then, I suppose. I mean, if we're gonna have this kind of situation, I'd rather... I'd rather just build a, the zip line that we'll talk about efficiency later. You know, the generator's not mine anyways. Right, let's get going. I think there's a vehicle. We could use it. Like I said, it feels risky to use it. But we could. Oh, shit. Oh, that alarm just blew off. Oh, that scared me a lot. Didn't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, I see a building over there. It could be a camp. 
Let me just check my sort of aerial map over here, the, the camp I'm seeing. Is this one? So, I think this is a terrace camp, so what we might need to do is we need to cross over here or something. So maybe we can just mark that real quick. Because we might need to zigzag a little bit. Or else we'll get hit by the uh, terrorist camp, obviously. I don't know how far that is actually. We might be able to make it a little bit more inland before we need to scoot away from them. So I think we'll actually cross the river here first. I know that Sam can jump like a far distance between the rivers, but you know, like I'm saying at this point, the bombs are such a consistent concern. Obviously, hold up. I really wish I had another PCC right now. 133. I think I can make it across the river first. Hopefully this won't trigger the bomb though. Oh shit, the entire part is red. Oh, are you kidding me, right? Okay, let's keep a little tight angle on our hands a little bit while we try to find a better way to cross. This is like such a marshland over here. If you guys are seeing this, it's such a marshland. Oh, I can take the, the zip line back, but I want to build it first, obviously. Okay, how blue are we talking? Oh, we're looking good. Let's cross here. Just a little bit of yellow, and then we're back to blue, so I think it's good. Yellow is the part that's risky. Blue's fine. Blue's 100% fine. Okay. Careful about the bomb. Now let's just sort of check our uh, location here. Okay, we can go further. I just hope this doesn't take us into... Ooh, yeah, that is definitely terrorist territory. Screw this, I'm, I'm, I'm not looking for the lost cargo right now. I'm just gonna think about how to bypass them. Because basically, if this is the camp, they have an entire rocky area that sort of isolates them, I guess. We could sort of go over here, but that would be risky. We probably need to take a, a right over here. So, I guess I was right when I said we needed to put a zip line over there. I shit. I guess we need to go back after all. But it's such a marshy area, like I, like I said before. I can't tell if the Eris sound is because of me putting up the zipline or the bomb. Because if it's the bomb, I'll be worried. But right now, I'm less worried, but more confused, actually. Alright. Let me see. So the camp is going to be over there. Over there on the left. I can see some trucks in there. Obviously, that's going to make me worried. Alright, I think we need to try to cross the river first. That's our primary concern. If we can cross it, we'll be good. Sam, Sam, he's our man. Please tell me it's not red. Ooh, yes, it's all blue in the middle. That is good. Shit, th is that too far? Oh, never mind, it's not. <laughs> Better check than nothing, right? Thank you for the additional repair materials, yeah. I, I didn't know people were really using a lot of my auto paver. Okay, somebody's road over there. Okay. So we're moving a little bit more here. I'm, maybe I can move a little further before I put up the zip line. You need to cross the water. Okay, that's 180. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This ain't good, mate. Are we close? I better have my time to get back. Oh shit, is that truck up ahead the... Oh, we're approaching the literal border of it. I need to try to... Okay, okay, so I guess my main issue is trying to negate the ping signal. So that's what we're going to try to do. Where's the scanner? I thought I saw it. Here it is. The 
moment we cross this, we're in enemy territory. Oh shit. I guess they were right about the vehicle. This guy's bike was, was here for on a purpose. I ain't about to walk through here with a bomb. Okay. I think this entire area is freaking mule territory. Yo, this ain't cool. 100% not cool. What I need to do is put this ladder in my hand, though. Get ready to punch some people with it. I think what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to negate the ping signal. If we can't, we might need to go back and get ourselves a bike. There's no way I'm running through this with no weapon. And then... Now. Crap, that did not work. Run. That did not work. Take the zip line. We're heading back. <laughs> we need a vehicle for all our worries. Are they coming to us? Yeah, they are. Oop. Let's get back before we get shot down. Better now than never. We steal a bike. I guess I can see why there was a road. I guess, yeah. but it's gonna be a bit hard trying to bypass the uh, mules. Good thing I built this. There we go. What's the condition of that truck? Maybe I can use it. Because here's the thing. I think trucks obviously good for larger cargo but they're just not as fast so when it comes to I guess fighting mules they ain't choice but I think I guess we're gonna have to take that risk you know do this or somehow die much more easily than we expected okay there's a large body of water here so there's a mule probably patrolling here there's also another post box over here so we sort of need to flit in between mule territory I think we can make a little bit of a, a sort of detour to the watchtower here I don't know it's definitely risky though we're gonna have to try it though or, or uh, we'll never be getting past the mules because I guess you I guess you guys will notice by now definitely not that really good with fighting mules because obviously you know uh, mules come and try to steal a cargo but these guys because they have guns it makes things like a hundred percent more hard uh, hard to deal with Okay, I think we're about to walk into enemy territory, but this is largely smooth plane. We should be able to get away faster I think If we put it on boost mode, we'll see if it's bad. We'll just turn back around Because I, I don't think I'm fully prepared for this That's what I think Okay, we're skirting the edge We are skirting the edge I think Yes let me see. Yeah, we're skirting the edge. I'm trying to see where the sensors are. I can see one over there behind us. I don't know where the other one is. Scan. <laughs> so this is what we're going to do. I think there's a bit of a river here. Then we'll cross back across. We should be able to bypass it. We'll get to the safe house first. That, that might be our best bet, I think. Yeah. We're actually maybe crossing here, but that's mule territory. That's straight up mule territory. <laughs> Not seeing any yellow lights, so I think we're good. Ooh, that's a bit of red. Fine though. Just a bit of marshland. Go down. If I keep on using the boost, I'm gonna run out of battery. I normally just go straight up boost, but it tends to get a little bit messy. Okay. That watchtower could be our thing. So this is definitely safe land. I actually need to find a way across. But I don't think that watchtower is built in mule territory, is it? Or is it right on the edge? I can't tell. Because that's a guy's auto paper. But I'm not seeing any scanners. Because that's a re one really big lake. And I don't think it'll be safe to go past that. Uh-oh. Let me just... That guy's wandering on the on the very edge of things. 
So I don't think we're strictly in their territory yet. I just want to find an easier way to cross because that is definitely too wide for us to cross. Our best bet is probably like here, but I think that's right on the edge of it. Oh, what's this sign? Don't give up. <laughs> All right. I'm going to see how deep the river goes. Oh, shit. Dude, you're kidding me, right? It's right on the edge? Okay. Guess we're not doing that then. We are gonna probably go up here, I think, then. How deep does this water go? Did I trick? Did I trigger it? But. Oh, never mind. I think we're out of it. But the next thing I'm worried about is BTs. Aha! I was right. Let's do this. Because am I ready for this? No. Like every single time I've been. Oh no, I don't have a level 2 one. Which means I don't have thematic rounds. Well, I guess we're going to do this the old fashioned way. While I... Wait, hold up. I feel like I'm not walking the right way. Maybe I am. Ah, okay, so we're gonna try to get up here, I think. That, that's our target. Here. Should work. So I guess we've gotta cross our fingers. Let's do this. Oh, this is a pile of ruins, though, I just realized. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't the smartest idea. <laughs> Better than nothing, though. Okay, let's just try to keep them on our left. Hopefully, none of them will be on our right. We can just sort of skirt the very edge of BT territory. And I think we should be fine. Nope, we are not fine. I don't think we can skirt that. <laughs> We're going to have to do our best to flit in between them. I just want my dooms to kick in. Like I said before, I want that peace of mind. I would rather know where they are to roughly estimate where I'm going. Okay, it's looking over there, so I'm guessing around that rock. Oh god. Holy crap. Messed up. Let's remove him here. That guy is more close to low. Shit. Oh yeah, he's right over there. So we're gonna have to walk forward. I mean, if they catch us, the most that's gonna happen is just an antimatter bomb. We'll probably just have to start the order all over again. What? Oh shit. Okay, so this way can be close to any of them. Yeah, they're all to our right right now. I'm just waiting for that thing to turn a different direction. I don't. They're not chasing us right now, but they're like right by that rock. I hope we get out of this soon though. I think for me, BT territory has always been one of my weakest points of this game. Because obviously, you're trying to sneak past a bunch of people. Stealth may not exactly be my best suit. I'm gonna try holding my breath for a little bit. Oh, my skeleton is fully ruined now. Okay, keep that blinking. We'll move away until it slows or changes directions. Oh shit. You're kidding me, right? Okay, we need to flit in between. We need to flit in between. We're gonna die. Just don't turn orange on me, mate. I think we can move forward left front enough. I think we should be fine. Cause this is just flipping between left and oh god, left and right. Okay. Gotta climb these rocks. I hope I don't need to actually climb, I can just step on them. I'll just strategically hold my breath here. I hope the BTs aren't in a zigzag pattern as well, cause that's gonna be annoying. Cause obviously if there's a zigzag pattern, I need to keep on Adjusting my course, you know. And that's gonna be freaking annoying. Oh god. Waiting for the dooms. 
Oh uh, yeah, they are. They're seriously going through with that zigzag thing. They're on my right. I gotta move to my left. It's not really that great. <laughs> Adjusting your course every single time. It's not cool. Kind of wish they were sort of grouped up together, but obviously, if they were all grouped together, this wouldn't be fun at all. This wouldn't be tense. I think we're on the edge of it. Hopefully, I'm just waiting for my audio deck to change. I just had to say that, didn't I? We're gonna go on the boundaries of the boundaries of the river. Yeah, so he's on our right. We'll keep on moving and hope nothing happens to us. Get to the grass as well. If we can get closer to the shore. I think it works. I I tried after after recording the last video. I tried going to like back to the distro center before. Apparently, if you go into the river on a vehicle, BTs are less likely to chase you. And I think it's a funny thing. I don't know if it's because of the fact uh, they're on ground and it's harder to go to the river, or if they just have a certain weakness to it. So I don't know. Okay, I'm close to my marker. Where time falls should be good. I'm just on the edge of it. So I should be able to move up the river without too much hassle. So I hope that's the case. The sky's lightening up, I think. Yeah, look at that. Snowy peaks and less BTs, I'm guessing. My skeleton's ruined though, so I might need to drop it off. I'm gonna have to run by foot. Yeah, this guy's feels like it's brightening up. Is it? Yeah. Camera zooming out, so I think we're good. Guess I can stand back up now. Yeah! On a good day's work. And shift the camera back to right. BB's happy, but I feel so relieved. Right, let's get going. <laughs> 